Welcome guys. Welcome back to the Tamil channel. In today's video, we are going to look at how to conjugate the verb ire. So ire means to sit or wait. Are you guys ready? Let's go. So in Tamil, you need to know the verb stem for the verb for you to be able to conjugate it. So the verb stem in this case is ire. So in order to conjugate the verb, you need to know the endings or the suffixes that are added to the verb stem to make the complete verb. Before we get started with the conjugation, let's look at the verb structure. So in Tamil, vinetjol or verb has at least three parts. Pahodi, that's the verb stem. Udenile shows the tense, so whether it's past tense, present tense, future tense. And vikudi, that shows the person. So depending on who you address, like if I say I, that's first person, then the ending changes of the verb as opposed to when I say you. Now in this verb table, you can find all the possible verb endings. Now this is not like a, just pick up the suffix and just add it onto the verb stem. You have to conjugate, but when you conjugate it, the ending, um, not the ending changes, but like the middle part of the verb changes as well. That's the tricky part in Tamil when it comes to verb conjugation. But you can use this table as a rough guide to help you conjugate the verbs. So today's verb is iru. Now when I say iru, you might notice I'm not saying iru. So whenever there is an u sound at the end in Tamil, Normally it's pronounced as ir. It's like a middle sound. Uh. Let's get started with the verb conjugation. I'm going to do the spoken version only. If you want the full table for written Tamil, check out the link in the description below. First, we're going to do first person in past, present, and future tense. Nan, irin the nan. Nan, irikren. And nan, irupen. Next, let's do second person now, informal. So this is when, you know, uh, your best friends or people younger than you, who you're very close to. Um, it's quite rude if you say that to someone just randomly like, ni. I personally don't use this with anyone really. Unless, I mean, with my sisters when I fight, I'll be like, ni, ni or viser. Um, but otherwise, I don't really use it. Um, I'm always very polite with people, ni, even if it's like younger, like cousins who are babies, um, with them as well. I was always taught to be polite. But um, I know, for example, my dad uses ni with his mum. So he would say, Amma in your bar. But that's very rude in my opinion. Um, but in their family, it's very normal to say ba, po, iru, um, regardless of age, but it's a very endearing way. On my mom's side, for example, if she was to say Amma va, oh gosh, you'll be in trouble. Always ask the people when you're talking to them in Tamil, obviously, ask them how they want to be addressed. And um, I would say go with the formal, polite version, always as a default. And this one, only, um, you know, if you know that they're going to be okay with you, you calling them, or you're very, very close, your partner, and maybe your children, um, or cousins, friends, then that's fine. So, ni irindani, ni irikre, ni iripe. Next, we've got the polite version. So, this is, I would say, the default for everyone. Use this one as the default. This one is also the plural, so you in plural as well. So you singular and you plural is the same here. Ningal irinda ningal. Ningal irikringal. Ningal irpingal. Next up, we've got he. Now, in written Tamil, aver is the gender neutral form for male and female, both polite. But in spoken Tamil, aver is normally used for men. So aver, uh, in this case, we're going to use it like if you have got uncle, dad, uh, brother, friend, anyone you want to address politely, then you can use aver. So this third person, um, aver. Aver irindaver. Aver irikrar. Aver irupar. Next up, he, so third person, but informal. So this is younger brothers, best friends, um, boyfriend, husband, avan, avan irindavan, avan irikran, avan irpan. Next up we've got the female version, so polite third person, ava. Now ava doesn't exist in written Tamil, in spoken Tamil because we men have taken over aver, um, the women uh, use ava. So if you are referring to an aunt, mum, uh, anyone, you know, sign of respect, ava. But again, in only spoken Tamil, you don't see this in written Tamil. Ava irindava, ava irikra, ava irpa. Next, we've got the informal version for female. So aval, aval irindaval, aval irikrai, aval irpai. Next up, we've got other. Other is used for animals and inanimate objects. So, other irindadu, adu irikkudu, adu irikkum. Now we go to the plural versions. So, nangal we, nangal irindha nangal, nangal irikkuram, nangal irupam. 
Next up, Ave. Ave, they. Now, I don't want to confuse anyone, but Ave in spoken Tamil refers to they. But uh, in written Tamil, Ave is actually for inanimate objects or animals. But more about that later in a different video. For now, Ave. So, Ave, Irindave. Ave, Irikinam. Ave, Irpinam. Next up, Adhikal. Adhikal is they, but for animals and inanimate objects. Adhikal, Irindadhikal. Adhikal, Irikadhikal. And Adhikal, Irikindai. Fantastic! We've just conjugated the verb ir. If you want to see more verbs conjugated, let us know in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, again, let us know in the comment section if you want to see more of these verb conjugation videos in spoken Tamil. Maybe you want to see written Tamil. Um, if you want to download the verb chart, go and check it out in the links uh, below in the description box. I will see you guys next time. Nandri